We're rolling. I'm Darren Watkins, and I play drums. Um, I'm Jeffrey Castle. I play the violin. I'm Eric Robert, and I uh, play keyboards and bass keyboard. And uh, yeah, a, a lot of people wonder, like, well, they ask me what, what kind of music we do. And it's a good question, because really we cover this huge range of music, everything from almost classical sounding stuff where I'm playing solo to full on like acid rock. And part of what's fun about the show is we, because we're in a theater setting, we get to take people on this journey that covers all of these different styles. Um, I'm really influenced a lot by Celtic music though. I, I, I love that sound, it sort of speaks to me. So I kind of work a little Irish kind of Celtic thing into just about everything we do. And what's fun is these guys are so flexible that they can cover all of these different styles and all of these different places. It's, it's kind of cool. It's like driving a really good sports car that has off-road capabilities. You know, like, you know, I can just go, whoop, let's go this way. Mm -hmm. And they'll just go right there with me. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a great unit. I was just gonna say, I mean, the, the important thing is to keep the seatbelts fastened. You I know, keep your seatbelts uh, fastened and your crash helmet on at all times. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just absolutely anything could happen. Anything. Anything can happen at any moment. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, great. Sure. It's fun. Playing the Triple Door Theater is the Cadillac ride for musicians. I think it, it's really, I mean, I, I've played a lot of different rooms all over the place. I think it's my favorite room to play in. Just, just, just because the audience is having so much fun, because you know they can get a drink and dinner and everything else, but it feels like a real theater show. You're not playing in a bar, and on the stage, the technology on the stage is flawless, so everything works, and and you're not fighting anything. You know, like like I can't hear myself, or you know, like, like there's weird buzzes and clicks and hums and nonsense, and the lights are great. You know, so you look good, you sound good, and it's easy, and you have fun. I mean, the, the Triple Door is just a wonderful place to play. And, uh, and the, you know, the audience that came that night was there to have a good time, and they did. It was, it, it, you, you'll hear it, you know, it's it, that's, that's genuine. Yeah. It's fun. Do we, do we feed off the audience? Oh, heck uh, yeah. Yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, oh, yeah, I mean, no. That's why, well, and being, you were saying about the Triple Door, the Triple Door, again, is ideal because it's, it's just like, it's the perfect space where you can, you're really interacting with the audience, and it's just, it's a, it's just a sweet experience. It certainly was for me. Yeah, it certainly was for me. Absolutely, yeah. You know, once you feel that love coming at you from the crowd, you, you, you just take that love and put it right back out again, and it just builds all night. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's great. It's a fun experience. Okay. What, what does the future hold? I, I think the future for us really is wide open. It could go anywhere. I mean, you know, who knows? I mean, the phone rings and next next minute we're on tour in Europe. You know, you don't know. You know, you don't know where the future is going to take you. All I know is that I think the future is looking pretty bright. And and uh, I think we're going to find a really receptive world out there for what we do. Because it's so unique, but it's also so accessible, I think. You know, that and people respond, you know, from the heart instantly when we, when we do what we do. And, and just because nobody's really done anything quite like this before doesn't mean that, that people aren't going to latch onto it immediately. So yeah, I think the future looks really bright, onward and upward. Where do you get your inspiration, Darren? <laughs> Where do I start? Um, Corona? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm inspired by a lot of stuff. Uh, musically, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of stuff. Uh, how about you? Oh man, <laughs> I'm kind of I'm kind of the same way because it's it's like it's like from so many different sources mm -hmm. from jazz initially, you know, mm -hmm. to um, to soul and R and B, you know, that classic soul R and B. I love that. And then do, doing doing the left hand bass thing, uh, I, a lot of that is I draw a lot of uh, inspiration from uh, from R and B, kind of the newer hip hop sort of R and B, kind of that that cool groove. I just I really I really enjoy I enjoy it all. I really do. 
and now Celtic music, which I never thought I'd ever be playing. Celtic rock? What? What do we call this? Celtic song? Well, that, that, that's what I love about these guys is that they don't really know anything about Celtic music, which is <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Because I didn't want them to know anything about Celtic music. I That's wanted to true. take yeah. take these these yeah. melodies and things, and then just throw throw it in a mix with with guys who are coming from more of an R and B and rock place, and and that's what gives it the magic, really. Yeah. You know that they're they're not coming to it with a bunch of preconceived notions about what Celtic music's supposed to sound like. They don't have a clue, which is great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, it's, it's perfect. I mean, uh, I guess my inspiration really for for doing what. You know, my inspiration for, for, for doing what I do, I, 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 you know, it's funny, I, 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 I always loved the violin. And I wanted the violin to be, I mean, the violin was really the original lead instrument, you know, four or five hundred years of, of being like, you know, out front. And then, you know, rock, rock music and jazz comes along and violins mostly got drowned out because they weren't loud enough to be out front. And, but that's where they belong. So rather than take the violin, put it down, and pick up an electric guitar, and and front my show on electric guitar, I'm like, no, I want the violin to be out front. And that's really my inspiration is to try to change everybody's mind about what the role of a violin is. I don't want to be standing over in the dark, over on the side, while some guy with a guitar and a ten-gallon hat is out front. Like, no, the violin's out front. It's the original lead instrument. I'm putting it back where it belongs. People ask me who my influences are, and they expect to get some kind of litany of violin players. No, very few of my influences were really violin players at all. Um, I'm, I'm a huge influence, and it comes out at the end of the show, was Jimi Hendrix. Um, I remember listening to that when I was a kid and just being so blown away, not necessarily just because he was so loud or the clothes or whatever, it was the passion that he played with that came right through in the music. And that was, I I wanted to try to see, okay, I I wanna be able to make music that has that much passion in it and have that kind of of an influence on other people. You know, pass that influence down. You know, bring that passion in and pass that influence down. But you have players like, you know, I mean, everybody from like Ornette Coleman, just experimental saxophone guys, or like, you know, rock guys, you know, Stevie Ray Vaughan, uh, Jimi Hendrix, Santana, you know, and Eric Clapton. I mean, these are the people I grew up listening to. You know, the Beatles, John Lennon, all of these folks really spoke to me. And, made, and, and, and they all had one thing in common. They all played with a real passion and a real focus on the music. They're in service to the music, really. It wasn't about, look at me, I'm a star. It was, it was more like, I'm in service to the music. And, and I, I bring every ounce of passion and effort that I've got to, you know, to make that music as passionate and, and as full as it can be. Yeah, yeah, sure. Right, let's, let's, let's all let's all like, do like. Okay. You know. Oh man, all right, all right, that's so cheesy. No, we can't, <laughs> we can't do that. No, we can't. You have do to it. embrace the cheese. Embrace the cheese. Embrace the cheese. I've got to find my cheese. <laughs> find my cheese. It's like it's really important to embrace your inner cheese. Actually, go ahead right into the lens there. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. What? Go ahead. Do that. Do okay. your sign off right into the lens here. All right. All right. Hey, we'll see you guys at the next show. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Embrace the cheese. Embrace the cheese. <laughs>